on. So we're going to talk about measuring, and um, we have some staff here in front of you. And um, while you're looking at all of us, I'd like you to try and put us in height order. So who do you think is the shortest? Who do you think is the tallest? And what order will you put us into? Have a little think while we just, just pause the camera for a minute. Okay. Mr. Bassett, you're the one who can see us properly. Um, shall we put the shortest person um, over here? Over here. Um, and then we'll move up to the tallest. So, should we try ourselves? Should we see, I think, I think Mr. Rowan's quite tall, isn't he? Maybe it should go that, um, that end. And then um, I'm quite short. I think I'm down. I don't know. Am I short or taller than. Um, can't get too close, can we? What do you think? Can you see Gemma? Who's the tallest? I am slightly. So you think you're taller? You must be up here. This, uh, Gemma, you're... Yeah, I think. And then, who's the tallest out or off? Karen and Gemma. Oh, I think Gemma's more. Very close. Slightly taller, Gemma. So you're talking places. Okay. Right, so I thought it'd be quite fun uh, to measure some of the people to see how tall they are. So I would like you, well first of all, I'm going to ask you what we would use to measure, how do I get to the short term of the function, just come into it. What I would use to measure somebody's height. Okay, so I've got some things in here, I've got millimetres, grams, Kilograms, centimetres, kilometres, metres and millilitres. Have a little think. Which one might we use to measure somebody's height? Okay. So we know it's not going to be kilograms because that's how you measure somebody's weight. And it's not going to be millilitres because that's how you measure drink or something liquid. Um... And it's not going to be grams because that's also weight, if you remember from your cooking. So it's got to be either centimetres, metres, millimetres, or kilometres. Okay. So because we are quite tall, um, in fact, I'm going to show you on the ruler. Excuse me a minute. Um, I'm going to put it if we look at centimetres and millimetres, it's going to be quite small. So I think maybe we might just start with metres and then maybe move on to centimetres as well. So in metres and centimetres, you need to guess how tall Mr. Rowland is, because he's the tallest and you can't see him from here, can you? How tall do you think Mr. Rowland is? How many metres do you think he is? All right, and maybe how many metres and centimetres? And then down to um, Mrs. Morgan here, it's nearly about the same height as me. How tall do you think she do you think she is in metres and centimetres? I don't know if we should put you near each other, should we? Would that help? You might want to work out what you think the diff. You might want to also work out what you think the difference is between their two heights. So how much taller is Mr. Bowden than Miss Morgan? Oh, we have to face down a bit that way. So the camera's there. Okay, I think it's clear. Okay, right. So um have a little think before was it? Or should we have a guess if you want? How tall we think Mr. Rowland might be? Uh, yes. I'll go last. <laughs> I'm gonna go one metre and eighty um, centimetres. Okay. Anybody else have a different guess for that? Maybe it's nearly two metres, I think. 193. Okay, did you say 180? I'll say 185 then. Okay. And what about, um, so I've got to write that down, shall I, on the other side of here, so we're saying 100, so one metre, sorry, let me see that, one metre, 85 for Mr. Rowland, or one metre, no, was it 90, with a guess, or one metre 80, is that right? Yep. So this is Mr. R, so question mark, Mr. R, question mark, and what about Mrs. M is Morgan. Uh, so we guess how tall we think Mrs. Morgan is. We haven't actually measured anybody yet. So, oh, I don't know, one metre sixty maybe? 
I'm gonna guess. Anybody else guys gonna guess? Uh, $50. No, 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 $53. One meter, $53. Let's have one more guess. Best of three. What do you think, Mr. Riley? How do you think she is? One meter, 62. Okay. So, just to show you that little summary here, there are estimate, or our guess, have I done it in the right place? Our estimate, or which means our guess, is Mr. Ryland, either 1 meter 85, 1 meter 90, 1 meter 80, Mrs. Morgan, 1 meter 60, 1 meter 53, or 1 meter 62. What is your guess? Have a think. All right. It's worth saying 1 meter 85 centimeters is the same as 185 centimeters. So let's measure, which we measure first. Shall we measure Mrs. Morgan first? Right. We're going to try and do this a bit socially distanced. We'll do our best, okay? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Morgan, Mrs. Morgan, is that One meter eighty-five, and Miss um, Morgan is one meter sixty-five. Who do you having think? What's the difference between Mrs. Morgan's height and Mr. Rowland's height? So, how much taller is Mr. Rowland than Miss Morgan? Or, if you like, how much shorter is Mr. Morgan than Mr. Rowland? Have a think. Pause it for a minute. See if you can work it out. Okay, if you count in tens from 65 up to 85, 65, 75, 85, that makes 20. So Mr. Brown is a whole 20 centimetres taller than Mrs. Morgan. So there you go. Fantastic. Um, and an extra challenge for those of you that are really good at your measuring. I think I need to use this here. Um, Let's see if we're going to have Mr. Ryan's height here. I'm going to put it on here. Um, one meter. I'm not doing this right. 195, aren't I? One meter. 85. So, if we measure Mr. Rowland in meters, one meter 85, does anybody know? It's quite a hard question. Um, I've put metres there, oh, so I remember that it's metres. Um, how many centimetres he, he is? So 1 metre 85, how do we make that into centimetres? So when we're changing between different measurements, we need to multiply or divide by 10 or 100 or 1,000, depending what it is. So if we've got one meter is a hundred centimeters, how many centimeters tall is Mr. Rowland? We'll think. 
So because there are 100 centimeters in the meter, we need to move two decimal places, two places rather, up two columns up here. So Mr. Rowland is 185 centimeters tall. Okay. Yeah, we could be really clever as well, and we could also work out how many kilometres long Mr. Rowland is, which just sounds a bit ridiculous, but you can actually do it. So, if you know there are a thousand metres in a kilometre, all right, there's a thousand metres in a kilometre. If we go back to Mr. Rowland's 185 metres, um, how many kilometres is see, I'm getting a bit lost here. We need to go down three decimal, three places, that's right, isn't it? I've got myself stuck here, haven't I? <laughs> um, oh yeah, I've got a bit confused here. You're let's, right. pretend, let's pretend this is the meters are up here. Let's say 185, let's do 185 meters. Okay. If you want to use a kilometers, because it's a thousand meters in a kilometer, sorry, this on camera, we're going to go three decimal places that way, because there's a thousand. So we're going to go one, two, three. So he's point, is that right? No. Point, no, point zero one. From the very top one. Can you show me, Mr. Rowland? I can't do this on camera. That's three from the very top one. Oh, three from the top one. One. No. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I've got mixed up. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. So it's zero point zero zero one eight five kilometers long. Okay, you'll never have to work that out, but it's just a bit of fun. All right. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you very soon.